Browsing through possible dog breeds to get, coming across the Pomeranian might stop you in your tracks. These small dogs are adorable with their fox-like faces and fluffy coats. You might wonder if this is the perfect dog for you. But what if you've never owned a dog before? What's involved with taking care of a Pom? Let's find out. Today we will tell you everything from sweet mini Pomeranian to adult, all about this dog breed. Number 9. Appearance There's so much to love about the Pomeranian's smiley face. The smallest of the Spitz breeds, weighing in at no more than 7 pounds, their face is often described as fox-like thanks to a wedge-shaped head and erect ears. Their sweet, almond-shaped eyes are dark and their noses are either dark or the same color as their coat. Their lion-like coat looks high-maintenance, but it's much easier to care for than you'd think. Brushing your Pomeranian a few times a week will keep its shedding under control and is fur free of mats. And when it comes to coats, palms come in a whole spectrum of hues and patterns. Orange and red are the most common Pomeranian colors. Palms that are white with patches of any other color are called party-colored. Like a proud lion, a Pomeranian's signature appearance includes a frill around the neck and chest, and ample fluffy fur all over thanks to a thick double coat. The best part, a palm's coat only looks like it would be difficult to care for. And don't forget their fancy plum tail. This develops with age, that feathers out in the back. Number 8. Personality Pomeranians are generally perky, friendly little dogs. They don't seem to realize they are small in stature and will occasionally tackle large dogs or at least verbally threaten them. These are active little dogs that do need daily exercise, even if it's just a walk around the block. They are quite intelligent and do well in obedience competitions despite a small independent streak. As they age, they are more amenable to being truly lap dogs. Pomeranians are often good alert and alarm dogs and can be prone to excessive barking. They tend to be good with children, but children need to be cautioned that these are small dogs and not as sturdy as the larger breeds. Number 7. Temperament The Pomeranian temperament matches his proud look. Alert and inquisitive, palms spend their days lively and active, without being hyperactive. They're very clever dogs who can adapt from snuggling on your lap, they love to get kisses, or trotting around the house on some self-prescribed mission, to competing on agility courses and going for brisk walks to greet everyone in the neighborhood. They are born extroverts. They're just gentle little souls and they have this funny sense of humor. Pomeranians are just funny. They're playful, happy little dogs. And they'll just assimilate to whatever you have them do. If you teach them to ride in a purse all day, they will. If you teach them to be a little outdoor fetching dog, they will. They'll do whatever you want them to do. Number 6. Living with Pomeranians are usually easy to keep. Although some are finicky eaters, they do not have a tendency toward obesity, probably because of their active nature. The double coat does require some regular grooming attention once or twice weekly, with daily sessions during shedding season. Despite being small, Pomeranians do need regular exercise and thrive on training. They are very intelligent and enjoy learning tricks and performing. Palms generally get along well with other pets, but caution should be used mixing any toy breed with large breeds that might injure a toy dog accidentally. If raised with children, they do quite well. If not, they may be reserved. Children need to be reminded that these smaller dogs may not be as sturdy as larger dogs and interactions should be supervised. Palms are excellent watchdogs with their alert attitude and their tendency to bark. They make very good companions for elderly folks because of their alertness and their small size. If you're older or have a busy schedule, Pomeranians make an ideal pet because they don't need much pampering or fussing. Palms are also an ideal indoor pet, perfect for apartment life or in a home with a small yard, or without a yard at all. They don't take up a lot of space, but they're surprisingly hardy, active little pups who enjoy getting out for walks. They especially love to meet new people and furry friends along the way, but do keep an eye on them when outside as they are escape artists, slipping through cracks or even climbing small fences, and they are susceptible to predatory birds because they are so petite. Number 5. Exercise Pomeranians have a medium energy level that shouldn't be underestimated just because they're small dogs. They should get at least an hour per day of physical activity, including walks and playing with toys. They also should have the chance to freely run around each day, and they don't need much space to do it. Moreover, puzzle toys can help provide the mental stimulation that palms need. While palms do fairly well in cold weather, their thick coat can cause them to overheat in hot weather. So even though they generally have good endurance, keep outside activity to short sessions in the heat. Also, be sure to protect your palm from predators including large birds when outside. Number 4. Grooming The Pomeranian has a long, thick double coat that requires frequent grooming. Plan to brush your palm's coat at least weekly to remove loose fur and prevent tangles and mats. Palms also typically go through heavier seasonal sheds as the weather changes in the fall and spring, during which you'll likely have to brush multiple times a week to keep up with the loose fur. A bath with a thorough brushing will be required roughly every four to six weeks. At that time, you also should clean your dog's ears, and you might have to express its anal glands. A groomer or vet's office can do that for you if you're not comfortable with it at home. 
You'll also have to trim your dog's nails roughly every four to six weeks, especially if you hear them clicking on hard surfaces. And you should aim to brush its teeth ideally every day. To keep hair off your clothes and furniture, brush and comb your palm at least twice weekly with a wire slicker brush and metal comb. This distributes the skin's natural oils and keeps the coat and skin healthy and prevents mats or tangles. Start brushing your palm at its head and then part the coat and brush it forward so it falls back in place when you're finished. If you want, you can trim your palm occasionally for neatness, especially on the feet, around the face and ears, and around the rear end. You can bathe them as often as you like, whether that's daily or monthly, as long as you use a mild dog shampoo or conditioner. If he starts to smell a little doggy between baths, sprinkle some baby powder on his coat. Let it sit a few minutes and then brush it out. Other grooming needs include dental hygiene and nail care. Palms are prone to dental problems, so this is something that you must be especially watchful for. It's a good idea to brush their teeth at least once a week, and even better daily. Trim nails regularly if your dog doesn't wear them down naturally. If you can hear them clicking on the floor, they're too long. Short, neatly trimmed nails keep your legs from getting scratched when your palm enthusiastically jumps up to greet you. Number 3. Training Pomeranians are moderately trainable dogs. While they are smart, they can also be stubborn. So consistency and patience are essential when training a palm. Begin training and socialization early in puppyhood. Work on house training right away so your dog doesn't begin to develop any bad habits that are hard to break. Also, socialize puppies with different people and in various environments to help curb their tendency to bark at strangers. Pomeranians can coexist with other household pets when given the proper training and socialization. But palms generally won't back down from a fight, even with larger dogs. Plus, they can be injured in friendly but rough play. So make sure all household pets and people, especially young children, are well-mannered and gentle to safely live together. Furthermore, Pomeranians can hurt themselves when jumping on and off of furniture, including couches and beds, so it's important either to train them to use a ramp or teach them to stay off furniture. Number 2. Diet and Nutrition The tiny Pomeranian requires a small amount of food compared to larger breeds. It's common to feed two meals per day of a nutritionally balanced quality dog food. How much food your dog requires will depend on its size, activity level, and other factors. Discuss dietary needs with your veterinarian, and consistently monitor your pet's weight. Even a weight fluctuation of one pound is significant for these little dogs. Also, make sure your dog always has access to fresh water, especially in hot weather and during exercise. Number 1. Can you have a Pomeranian as a first dog? They're hard to resist and look like stuffed animals that came to life. For people who live in apartments, Poms may be extra appealing because of their size. They also pack a lot of personality into a little package. Energetic and bouncy with a stubborn streak, Poms are affectionate companions and make wonderful dogs for seasoned and novice dog owners alike. With any dog you get, however, it's important to dedicate the time to get to know them, train them, and care for them properly. Even the easy dogs to care for still require care. Do let us know in the comments if you are willing to own this cute breed. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.